Okay, so just before I get cut off, all I said was uh, that we're going to put things in a PCA uh, uh, in a PCA space. Uh, in, case, in this case, we're going to use distances uh, instead of just doing a general optimizer problem and trying to optimize the distances uh, in the way that's been uh, that it's been commonly done. I I just want to point out that the general SPCA and just PCA these are just fancy words to basically explain the same type of uh, methods or the same uh, family of methods if we have a plane uh, or we have two distributions of you know planes and GPCA is going to try to find several of these uh, simultaneous distributions and it's going to try and find uh, principal components for several of them uh, it's going to have no assumptions about the number of cloud points about the number of dimensions inherent to the data uh, but it's going to try and find distributions of points and make some uh, assumptions about the positions of points it's going to take uh, perpendicular lines and do some calculation of these to, to try and find out how many distributions we actually do have uh, in a cloud of points, a uh, high dimensional cloud of points. Uh, so, you know, whether we call it general SPCA or PCA and you have all kinds of other types of PCAs with different kernels, uh, it's, it's still it's inherent to PCA and it's a high dimensional reduction problem. Um, and what we do try and show, and uh, I will try and show that it's possible to even perhaps treat the distances as a, uh, as a modeling problem, as a dimensional reduction problem, and try to harness some of the existing work that's been done by other groups, and uh, you know, and, and, and leveraging the, uh, the power of automated uh, optimization, and also the automated uh, uh, discovery of the of the hyperplanes of greater significance, so that we can actually find the points more significant, and then actually use them to uh, assess points based on the highest and most important criterion uh, in the shapes we deal with. So I'll show that in the next. Uh